right, the Arduino um, pedal is coming along. Um, what I'm doing is I'm adapting this Marshall foot channel switcher uh, to house the Arduino board. Um, and I'm just making the circuit now. Now, I've drawn up my plan. I'm going to have a five-way pickup selector switch. Um, obviously, on two pickup models, only three will be and then for three pickup models we'll be able to use all five. Um, I'm going to have a guitar selector switch, a wet and dry input and a volume out. Uh, then obviously guitar in and guitar out. Um, I'm going to have a USB port in the side um, to be able to uh, program the pedal uh, and then obviously the uh, 9 volt in as well, um, and although I'll probably use a 9 volt battery. Now, I have the Arduino connected to my computer by the USB serial port at the moment, um, and uh, I've actually got a potentiometer hooked up to it, um, for which I'm using this Arduino or Piduino patch. Um, I downloaded Piduino, put the Fermata onto uh, the Arduino chip, and I'm now controlling this patch. Uh, this potentiometer, um, here it's uh, connected to analog in four so the analog out on the pot goes into there um, I've got the five volts and ground connected to my breadboard here and when I turn the pot you can see what's happening to the knob there it's uh, that's all off no current passing uh, that's all on um, don't know why that's not got to a hundred um, and that's all on, it's 0 to 100, uh, it's interesting. So, right, my next uh, port of call now is to make the channel select a switch. Um, I figured it would be nice to have a, a pickup selector on like a traditional strap switch. Um, the potentiometers are gonna be for selecting which uh, guitar model to use. Uh, and the wet and dry obviously is to have a throughput. I'm thinking of using these uh, a blender pot for the wet dry signal as opposed to a fader. Um, although I have got some nice faders here which I'm going to experiment with. Now on the screen capture here I'm just going to show the program that this is going to be driving. Um, if I just say file I'll save, just in case it crashes, I'm going to put that down there, I'll open reads and right, this is my Convolve uh, program, uh, what I have here is, um, on the right here, I've got a, a tab read thing which, which reads a WAV file for an impulse response, um, so if I hit the bang button here, uh, these are a whole bunch of um, impulse responses from best plugins. Um, Green Day Dookie Wav. Okay, this is a Green Day impulse response. So the array has been read and put in there then. Uh, now, what have I got hooked up here? I have got a guitar hooked up. Um, Just to show these other delays, uh, this is an impulse response that comes with Convolve. So that's just doing that one. This is a symbol. So that's Convolving this, and then we can go back then to this pickup. So that's the tone there. Um, now, uh, what else do I want to say? Obviously you've got the master volume here, which obviously will be being controlled as well. So this convolution um, uh, patch will be loaded in to the Arduino board um, and uh, we'll be able to do 
the pickup replacement or the impulse response replacement um, there. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, design an interface for loading them in and out because at the moment I'm just loading them in one at a time in this analyzer array pickup. Uh, right, okay, and this is what uh, the analog interface uh, will be controlling. Involving that standard impulse response. Now, if I bang again, I can choose any of the uh, Tone Freaks uh, impulse responses or uh, any of the best plugins impulse responses. Now, these are brilliant. Um, they uh, done by David uh, in, uh, uh, um, best plugins. Um, that's a little kill switch engage as daylight dies. There we are. Now that's an impulse response. If you watch the video, it's fascinating. Um, oh, well, we've got to analyse that one. Go live. This guitar's out of tune, but that is. Tone that goes into the base of that track by kill switch engage through whatever else pedal amp, whatever that isn't going through an amp, it's just going straight out of my monitor speakers. Um, but, um, and there's more. So, basically, here, these load buttons that I've got here, um, this would be front pickup, middle pickup, back pickup. Um, if I analyse that impulse response there, um, it loads it automatically and it will be another response and it will be this one. Um, table of impulse response number one and that impulse response is, if I look on this patch here, uh, Megadeth Euthanasia. Um, which again is from the best plugins uh, thing. So the convolution thing going in PD, uh, pure data, um, and uh, to get it basically editable uh, in a fairly straightforward manner. Um, so what I've done is I've just added in this uh, tab read um, thing for testing impulse responses and then deciding which ones you want to load in. My next task then is going to be to change this so that there um, will be a setting like this with the three pickup three pick settings for two pickup guitars, five way settings for five pickup guitars. Um, and so basically um, this window here will be um, uh, arranged so that you have say guitar 1, guitar 2, guitar 3, guitar 4 um, then I'll probably just add in some other functionality for for the pedal um, I don't know, I'll probably put in a, a Ibanez TS808 tube screamer um, model, something like that uh, so that you can pick your guitar and a stomp box. Um, so I'm interested in using open source stuff, and I I, I really like Le Pou, um plugins. Or maybe I'll have a word with Ken Clarence at uh, Angley Bar Gig and see if we can put something in from there. Um, from Headcase, which is another fantastic uh, uh, plugin. Uh, stable of plugins. Um, anyway, so uh, effectively uh, this this provides real-time convolution. Now for our purposes, if I just do this, just again my activity monitor here, uh, this will give you an idea of what's happening with my CPU. So um, at the moment is using 
32% um, and 32 and a half megs of real memory. Uh, it, it doesn't really go over 10%. Um, so that's pretty good, really. Um, let's have a look. It's 10%, and what have we got here about this Mac? Uh, this Mac has got a 2 gigahertz core duo processor. Okay, um, so 10% of that is 200 gigahertz, isn't it? Um, uh, so I'm actually really hopeful that, that this will run um, on the Arduino board. Um, it would definitely run on a Raspberry Pi board um, and it would definitely definitely run on a uh, Beagle board um, so yeah um, that 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 basically is is, is it um, the all this faffing about here and these um, pots down here and stuff uh, you can see um, the idea is that the dry signal comes in and you can control the level of that uh, the wet signal goes out I've been experimenting with a blender pot which I might have another one depending on pins in and out when when once I've worked out my layout with the uh, with, with the amp and uh, the preamp and the, um, the the DAC, which should come tomorrow or the next day. Uh, and that really is that. Um, this is the Piduino um, interface, which all works brilliantly. And then here's the this convolve patch. I I, th I think it's brilliant. Um, I, I uh, haven't had any problems with it, and I've made it uh, pretty s easy to edit. One of the things I had to do was take out the fourth table that came with the standard thing, because with my analyzer ray pickup, I something just kept happening, and, and they just were getting themselves in a muddle. Uh, <coughs> that's impulse response number three. Should we press that there? It's that one there. And to see which one that is, that's Slayer Christ Illusion. That was all Slayer Live at the um, Sweden Rock two years ago. Uh, that's uh, that's it. So. I shall edit that down, all the ums and ahs and whatnot, I'll leave a few in. Um, but that's as far as I've got. Right, okay. The story so far. Um, this is my workstation, there's my soldering iron. Um, so over here, this is my breadboard with an Arduino Uno um, on that, plugged into the computer by USB, and uh, those wires on the breadboard are attached to two potent, well, four potentiometers, two. Um, rotary ones and two sliders and one of the sliders is logarithmic the other one is linear um, come round and get a better shot uh, my multimeter seems to have packed up I don't know what's wrong with that we'll have a look at that later so let me just come over here now let me see better here
So we're going to put a screen catcher on. And just this is as much for my own uh, purposes to look back on because I've got to have a think about this overnight now on what I'm going to do next. Um, so let's just put a screen capture on. Three, two, one. There we are. Right then. So um, here is the um, breadboard and it's got power all the way around it. It's powered off uh, the board here, the 5 volt and the ground. Um, then I've got these two potentiometers and these two sliding potentiometers. This one's linear and this one is uh, logarithmic. So, just starting off, wet signal this is the linear part. I've got this down as the dry signal. This is the uh, logarithmic part. There we are. Then this one I've got down for picking the guitar impulse responses. What I need to do is uh, just calibrate that circle round there, um, the knob, and uh, then at different voltages I will um, use it to bang uh, a different um, a, a different set of tables, which will be guitar one, guitar two, guitar three, guitar four. Um, then the pickup selector. Uh, I've failed heroically today to try and botch up this five-way selector switch. I'm going to have to do another read-up into it. I was trying to vary the resistances to uh, get a different readout of each thing, but I haven't managed to work out how to do that yet, so I'll have another go at that tomorrow. Uh, but with a rotary switch you can still do the same thing. If I calibrate this, you can see it going around there. Um, I can calibrate that as well and then at the different voltages or different positions it can do front, middle, back, um, front and middle, middle and back for uh, three pickup guitars. So that is the, uh, as far as I've got now, with the analog interface. I'm waiting for a delivery now of an Arduino shield along with um, a digital to analog converter. I'm not going to do the digital to analog converter resistor ladder. Um, I decided to save pins in and uh, get uh, the Texas Instrument one recommended in the Instructables um, uh, guitar pedal and uh, analog uh, uh, tutorials, uh, and then um, I've also ordered the little amplifier as well. Uh, to, you know, to put a preamp in this thing. Um, so that should come tomorrow or the next day for the next stage of my build. But for now, um, I'm quite happy with progress here. I'm just going to save this file. Oops, where are I? Uh, file. Save. So I've named it Arduino Test Tone Frequency Pedal, um, and this is the analog controls for the for the pedal. There'll be an analog in coming in here. Uh, there's the quarter inch jack ready for that, um, which will then plug into the digital twinner or analog to digital converter um, out the other end that'll be the other one um, the other quarter inch jack uh, so um, that's that's basically the analog side of this 